Hello, my name is Heath Johnson. I am a consultant with NCSI. I'm going to show you how to link roles to users and users to roles. So in order to do that, I'll log into Service Manager and select the administrator role. If uh, I don't have the option to select the role, I can change my role or verify that I'm in the correct role by looking under my name and then utilizing the role selection list here. Okay, the first area, we're so what I'm going to do is show you a couple of areas, workspaces that you can do the linking between roles and users and then demonstrate a couple of methods in, in doing so. so. I'm going to click on more and search for the role search for role and then open up the role workspace and then find the role that I want to add a user to in this case I'm doing service desk analyst and then click on the link button this will open up a list where I could either select from this list or if the list is too long I can just do a search so I want to do a search for first name looks for contains and I'm looking for Bob. Now I've got two Bobs, so I can select one, or I can select more than one. And then click on Save and Refresh, and then now I see that both Bobs are in the Service Desk Analyst role. The next way we can link an employee to a role is to actually open up the Employee Workspace. I can search here, but it's also um, initially visible, so it should be, vis uh, be able to be selected just from the list down below. Okay, I'm going to look for John. There's three of them. So one way I can link a role is to open up the individual record, user record, and find the role tab. And then similar to the, from the role workspace, click on the link button and then find the role that I want to link. In this case, I want to do self-service mobile, which is right there. Select, save, and then refresh. And then I have self-service mobile. The other method to link roles is from the employee workspace as well. And there is a quick action that I can browse to under the action menu. No category. And it's called the quick action is called link role to employee. So if I select that, then I can I'm presented with a prompt or a drop down list of the roles that I want to uh, select. I don't want to do that just yet because I want to select both names. Now if I have a list of twenty people, I can select all twenty people and then just do the same thing on opening up the quick action and find the self-service mobile role and click on OK. And then refresh. And now when I open up these user accounts, I can see that the self-service mobile role is linked to John Smith and then also to John Doe. This is a way, if you're in the user interface or the front end, where you can link roles and employees together. The other areas where you can go to, if you're already in the configuration interface, is you can go to users permissions. Well, you can get the users here. Um, this role link is there, but it will take you to the wrong page. So I usually like to go to users and permissions and then click on the first roles link and that will open up the role list just like in the other interface and open up the role and just link and unlink like I demonstrated previously and then users is the same way click on users and it presents you with the user list I can open up an individual user or I can also select multiple users and then go to the quick action in the action menu and do the link role to employee Something I wanted to mention to you is when you are in the 
role and you want to add an employee or unlink an employee, you have this delete button here. If you click on this, this will actually delete the user or employee record. It won't, it'll delete it from the role, but it'll also delete the employee record. So whenever you want to add an employee to a role or a role to an employee, be sure to use the link button. And if you want to remove the employee or user, click on the unlink button. Um, you don't see this in the employee side, so which all you have is link and unlink, which is good. So you may want to, just as a precaution, I usually remove the delete and new buttons so I'm not accidentally deleting a user account. And then if I wanted to act, then if I want to create a new user or delete the user, then I actually go to the employee workspace and then do those from from this workspace instead. So anyway, I hope that this was helpful. As you can see, linking employees and users to roles and vice versa is pretty straightforward. It's not difficult. I hope this was helpful. And thank you for taking the time to watch this video. And I hope you have a, a great day. Thanks.